I'm Anita Simons and I'm the editor of the ERS Practical Handbook of Non-Invasive Ventilation. Non-invasive ventilation is a hugely growing area. In fact, all respiratory departments who admit acute patients need to know how to deliver non-invasive ventilation. And over the last 10 to 20 years, the indications for non-invasive ventilation have grown hugely. Uh, it's delivered by a multidisciplinary team, and the point of this handbook is to enable that team to better deliver non-invasive ventilation. So the aims of the book are to be highly practical. You can look at this book and then go to the end of the bed and I hope it will help you uh, start the ventilator, explain the technique to the patient. But to understand how to deliver non-invasive ventilation, you need to know why to deliver it. You need to understand the indications, whether the patient is suitable, what are the contraindications to understand when to start it and also when to stop it if it's failing. And this is uh, the purpose of this book, to help the reader particularly appreciate all those points. The very interesting new thing about this book is it will be, uh, not only is the book linked to uh, further reading materials uh, and materials on the website, modules on the website, it's also linked to our new non-invasive ventilation simulator so people can actually get hands-on experience. Over and above that, the book is linked to our long-standing and, and very successful ERS course in non-invasive ventilation and that's recently been developed into two courses, a basic course on, on non-invasive ventilation and an advanced course.